Hey there, Libra. Hope your guys' week has been treating you guys well. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what your guys' first message of 2024 is. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. Tell about Libra, please. Libra. Libra. Illusions. Two more. Rejection, romance. All right, so you clearly got somebody trying to fill your head with illusions, trying to bring this lovey-dovey energy back, trying to cause some confusion with your love life here. Some of you guys could be entertaining new options at this time. It's overall energy for Libra overall energy for Libra loneliness so somebody thought that you was gonna be lonely without them and you're not you know that you're not alone just because you're by yourself this other person they don't know how to be by themselves they have a fear of being alone they run after people to fill a void an empty void that they have okay so this person thought that you was gonna be lonely without them and that you're not this is a lonely energy trying to come back and pull on your empathy hoping you're going to see their side of a situation here so this person uses uses your empathy to their advantage guys what needs to be surrendered for libra surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal Turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. I sounded like I wanted to like almost like the way my tongue movement, like it was Italian. Somebody could be Italian. I, was just, I don't know where that come from. So that's for somebody. But surrendering to spirit, le letting everything, just severing ties with anything that wants to leave your life, you moving away from people, places and things, and just knowing that you've done everything that you can to achieve what you want. And how you want your life to be and just letting spirit work its magic for you not trying to force it not trying to hold on to things just letting things flow that's a good energy to be in surrender procrastination so now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off so there's something here that you may be um you could add a little bit to okay something about this person trying to come back here and put you back in this procrastination this person sees that you've been climbing this this these stairs this journey and this is someone that will put you in a lack mindset trying to stop you from your forward movement. And this person definitely procrastinates on doing any inner work. So they'll try to, they'll push you back and slow you down because of that too, guys. Let me get one for Libra. Libra, thank you. With the strength from my higher power, I have the courage to overcome any challenge. Okay. So that, that staircase that I just showed you, you can achieve anything and overcome anything that you need to. So anybody tries to put any challenges in your path, you overcome them. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo or have Leo placements there in your moon rising or Venus here. And there's your psychic abilities here. So I am psychic and intuitive. I trust in the messages I receive. So something here about your gifts, something about this person trying to downplay your gifts You've had this person try to dummy down your intuition and try to tell you that that's not what was going on when it clearly was going on. You still got this person trying to come back here and fill your head with illusions. You have gifts, okay? This person may be jealous of your gifts here, but they are definitely trying to pull on that beautiful empathy of yours. So tell me about illusions. This person's got two sides to them, a, a, a nasty side and then a, a sweet side, but it's to get what they want. Tell me about illusion. Tell me about illusion. Okay. So this person, somebody is wanting to try to come in here and, you know, there's someone ha is having sleepless nights over your, your, your intuition, your gifts that you have here. If this person's trying to put you back in this lack mindset, though, like sleepless, restless nights, like overthinking yourself here, gaslighting you. That's what this person wants to do. But when this person lays down their head at night, oh, this person knows that you're gifted and this person knows that you ain't going to be fooled. But they still going to try to see if you'll fall for it, though. But 
your gifts scare this person, just so you know. They ain't going to tell you that, but I'll tell you. Trying to convince you that they want marriage, or if you were married, they want it back. And there's something here about you being a spiritual, a spiritual teacher. Something about this person may be trying to break the illusions of your gifts and make it seem like they you don't have gifts like you do here. But a lot of y'all are spiritual teachers, so the person better watch themselves. Judgment. You stepped into your rebirth. That's another thing. Something about the way that you've changed things up. Your mindset. Just everything in your life. Like this person's trying to like convince others that you haven't. And this person's definitely trying to put you back in illusions. Trying to reconcile here with you. The sun. So something about you illuminating things about this person. So I'm telling you. you your gifts scare this person's illusions. Like. There's some things here that this person might have tried to paint you as, and your light is exposing all of their darkness, let's just say. So this person's trying to figure out a way to offer you something, trying to, you know, offer loyalty, stability to you, could try to gift you something, take you out on a date here. This is a very selfish energy, but it's all about their selfish gain guys this person sees you having wish fulfillments in your life but you are more aware with your emotions and your intuition definitely here okay so this is a very selfish person thinking that they can still put you in those illusions here there's something here about this person trying to downplay your gifts trying to downplay your awakening time trying to downplay your your rebirth they they don't want to they don't want to claim that you are who you say you are this person's going to try to convince you that they have changed, that they have laid an old version of their self to rest. They have not. Don't trust it. It's like they're trying to de defame your character. Tell me about rejection. This person's got rejection issues. That's why they did what they did to you. They wanted you to feel rejected because they feel rejected. Tell me about rejection. You kept your silence. And something about you taking this person's mask off and seeing who they are at a core. Okay? They don't like that. They don't like that you hold a mirror up to them. They don't like that you have this light that just shows their darkness here. This person's trying to figure out how to um, how to pull you back into these lies and this deception again. And this person's been keeping a close eye on you. I don't care if they went towards someone else. This person's been slowly watching you because it's like they're trying to figure out what you're going to do next. Because this, like I said, this person on the on low key... Well, this person's freaking out about who you are, man. High priestess. That's who you are. The high priest. The high priestess. This is about you seeing things for what it is. Trusting these gifts that you have. Trusting your intuition. Trusting your higher self. This person's trying to come towards you with lies and deception still. But you can see through the bullcrap here. This is somebody that sees that you close this cycle out. Somebody could be watching you on a platform like I have here. And there is something about your gifts outing this person's character. And they feel like if they get you on their team that it won't be so bad on them. Because they see you up out that throne and you mean business. You've taken your power back and you are not to be played with. And this person's feeling some type of way about how you can create whatever you say you're going to do. You do it. And this it's freaking this, this one out here. Play about romance. Trying to bring the romance back in. Here they go. Shape shifting. Okay, changing into character, we'll say. This is like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy that this person has. So this person's going to try to come in here and convince you to build with them again, to work with them again. Tell me more. Tell me more about romance. Trying to get this new beginning here with you. You've done glowed up. That's Libra Taurus energy right there. This person thinks that you've got the world in your hands. Something about you being able to predict things. This person sees that you balance out your life in all areas here. Okay. And this person's trying to figure out how to get a new beginning here with you. Some of you guys are going to step into new connections, okay? Where you're going to, to know what real authentic love feels like. And this person's going to have to be on the outside feeling lonely while you enter in these new connections here. Okay? This is about no longer letting this person come in here and um, give you these, these half offers, okay? This is about you being protective of your cup and who gets it, new or past. But this past person will let you down again if you take them back. And I really feel like for a lot of you guys, you're going to have a new romance connection come in. And this person's going to have to be on the outside looking in. That's part of their karma here. This is somebody here that 
they have knocked you down. They have bumped and bruised you along the way and you kept getting back up and you kept going because you're, you're very strong and resilient. This person didn't realize who they were messing with. And now that you've stepped into your gifts, now they're like, well, they don't know what to do with you now. So they're trying to get you on their team again. And this is about you getting back up and no, not losing faith in love. No matter what it's done to you, never losing that faith, guys. That's beautiful, too. So this person knows that you're walking away and that you're done. And they for sure thought they had you rooted in the ground here. Her hair is connected to that tree. So you're you're gone. You're moving now. And this person knows this. So they're going to try to come in here and convince you otherwise to take this love back. And a lot of you guys have new love offers coming in for you as well. So... Tell about confusion. No person's confused by your gifts, man. You really like got them scratching your head like, what is going on? <laughs> Tell me about confusion. Don't you love that? Tell me about confusion. Yeah, they're confused because you're walking away and they can't stop you. And that's confusing them. They thought by walking away from you as well and, and giving you the silent treatment that that would have gained control over over you and that's not working either way you're like walk away I don't care so they can't cause any more confusions and your your leaving game is right on point now this person's confused because you won't take their love back because you see through the bull crap and then this person's going to be confused because you're going to have new love stepping in here too well, this person's confused that you're not burdened and carrying the weight of everything as they thought you were Okay, that's confusing them as well as the way that you're able to alchemize the negative and turn it into a positive is confusing this person as well. You turn your pain into power. This is someone here that thought that they had you held back. They thought by holding back they were going to gain control, but nah, you, you, you gained all the power. So, and this person sees that whatever they say or do is not going to hold you back. This person's confused about how you've ended things, how you've laid an old version of yourself to rest. They're confused about that. They're confused about all the traps that they've laid in your life that you keep falling into these holes and you keep coming back, getting back out stronger. Okay, they're confused about the way that you're able to do that. They're confused that they're no longer to be able to manipulate you. Okay, just try to guilt trip you, try to make you feel bad about yourself. You've had a lot of people try to knock you around here. And you've got this person in particular. Like, who the, who are you? You're very protected, too. So something here about your the protection that you carry, too, is confusing this person. The way that you've created these strong boundaries now is confusing this person. They can't get a reaction is confusing this person. This, the healing work, all of the growth... Everything that you've been doing for yourself is confusing this person. And some of you guys are in the spotlight and what you're doing is confusing this person. Five of Wands. So they're confused at none of the tactics that they tried to do to try to hurt you, try to take you down. It might have got you a little bit chaotic for there for a minute, but you they you just you're you're stronger than this person. And they're just like, what the hell's going on? Like, they're confused. Like, no matter what they've tried to, to bring to your table, you always overcome it. You alchemize that energy. And they're confused by it. They're confused at the way that you're able to balance your light and your shadow side out. Your mask on your feminine side. They're confused how you're able just to, to pick yourself back up and move forward with no problem at all. They're confused that you have inspired action that you are taking with your life, that you want things for yourself, you're goal-oriented here, okay? They're confused that you're not letting them come in and out of your life anymore with this reckless behavior. And they're confused because somebody is going to have a new lover here. They're confused that you aren't letting them pick you as a choice anymore. You are not an option. You are going towards new things here. And this person is going to be feeling heartbroken and stuck on the outside and confused like you were at one time. So, I've got Cancer. I've got Air, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Air, Earth, Libra, Taurus, Water, 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 Fire, Earth, Air, Fire, Air, Air, Aquarius, and Fire here. So, they're confused. They're like, everything that you've had thrown your way, you're able to... To come out of it with grace, man. So they're like, what the hell? 
This person thought that they, by disregarding you, tossing you to the side, that you would have been not knowing your worth and you wouldn't have done all this inner work like you've done. They feel disregarded by you because you've leveled up from them now. You're not on the same wavelength. This person can't believe that you remained hopeful and you never lost um, faith in yourself. And they're confused because you don't have any hope to, to, to mend this relationship anymore. They're trying to figure out how to rekindle things with you. Because you are going out of your way to avoid this energy now and they can't hey, they can't take it. Red flags. Your light irritates this person's demons. They do not like the way that your light exposes their darkness. My gosh. You already see all the red flags that this person has too. So that's what they're scared too. Because they feel like if you're at least on their team that you won't expose them. It's all about exposing this person because they're worried about their character being defamed when they clearly try to defame yours. So you see how that works? Let me get one for a Libra or plenty, however many. However many. Researching you, studying you, trying to get information on you. Yeah, tell me more. A groupie. This person could have um, smeared your name to the community trying to get a group of people to come for you. This is somebody that likes to hide in the crowds because they don't know how to stand on their own. Okay? So, you got a fan. For some of you, you got fans. Because this person doesn't know how to stand on their own, so they got to recruit an, an army of people to go with them. This person wanted to paint you out as the bad guy. Have a bad reputation. And there's something about this person freaking out because their true reputation is going to be exposed. You've got good connections coming into you. For you. Great vibes, positive connections here. This past person of yours is trying to figure out how to get you back into this energy where you trust them again, but you ain't going to go for it. Tell me more. Got better connections coming in. It's not this person. This person ain't crap. Somebody could be an artist, a tattoo artist for somebody here, but this person ain't shh. They ain't nothing. Well, this person's trying to figure out how to come in here and fix something with sex. Somebody's got a secret lover here, and if you are talking to somebody new, this person wants to get in the way of new love for you, so don't let them do that. Tell me more. Because you've got these offers coming in, guys. Okay? You have new new offers, and this could be all areas of your life, and then, of course, you got the past person trying to, to extend an olive branch, okay? But I wouldn't take it. You guys could be traveling. That could be part of what you're meant to do here. You could have uh, just got back from traveling from the holidays here, or you're planning a travel here. This person will waste your time, because they're planning on traveling towards you as well, but this person will waste your time. This person's stuck. This person will limit you, and it's like they're limited, so they want to keep you limited. This is a happiness hater. This is somebody that doesn't want to see you happy with anybody else, whether it's by yourself or with somebody new. This is an obsessive lover, somebody that's dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessive. It's a karmic. Somebody that fake flexes, acting like they got more than what they do, run around and talk a good game about all the things they got in their life. This person could have been saying that they have all these spiritual gifts when in fact it's you. It's with finances too. Now this person's going to come back and they're sad, they're hurt, they're upset. Okay, They'll, they'll shed some tears. Start kissing your butt because you're done with this energy. Somebody could be gifted flowers here. Your gifts scare this person. I keep feeling that in this read. Like this person's so shocked by your your psychic gifts. Like they're they're in shock. Libra. This person's watching you on these secret accounts. This person likes to keep these secret accounts in their in their phone. There's some kind of app that somebody has here where they they. That's where they talk to other people and they they do their little cheating with these secret accounts here. And they're definitely watching you from a secret account. There's a love child here. So somebody could have somebody pregnant here. There could be a child on the outside of this connection for somebody here. This person may try to get to conceive a child with you. Tell me more. Massive regrets. So somebody's definitely having some massive regrets for what they've done with you. Done to you. anymore you're moving on letting go and loving you you broke free from this person's illusions here this person's got a love-hate relationship with you they love you one minute they hate you the next but they still want to keep control of you like a puppet 
on puppet strings when they then they're in an energy of not wanting to be around you they hating you they still want to keep control over you you're over here living in the moment so this person's losing their marbles because they don't affect you anymore this person knows that you're fed up that you ain't falling for their bullcrap anymore round and round closing out this cycle learning the lessons and not letting this person trigger you anymore because this is a very controlling person selfish stubborn arrogant pride and ego they want it their way or the highway and you took the highway oh they can't stand that either you gave me an option i took the highway this is somebody reckless they sleep around okay they use sex to try to control people keep them stuck and something about this person wanting to cause reckless with new love in your life. They want to get in the way of new things for you. This person's current trying to come back and convince you that they missed you. They want you back. Trying to pull on your empathy. Trying to get into your feelings. They're going to open up and express feelings to you. Some of you guys may look at it like, what are you doing? Because this is honestly somebody that doesn't like to do that. Like... So this is like an energy of somebody that feels like showing emotions is a sign of weakness. So, Libra. Dishonesty, deception, trickery. Trying to put you in that web so they can feed off of you and deplete you and drain you of your beautiful energy. Tell me more. This is somebody that thought that you was going to chase after them. But this person didn't realize how resilient you are. This person likes to chase toxicity. They enjoy people chasing them. And they don't like it that you didn't play into their game. So they're about to turn around and start chasing you because they think this is a game. Tell me more. You're beautiful, charming, graceful, kind-hearted, beautiful on the inside and out. And this person knows that you're a catch. Okay? That's why they want to try to come in and put you back in illusions here. This person's going to tell you that they're falling apart. They're, they're in desperate need of you. Okay? This person left you in this hopeless energy and you pulled yourself out of that though. Remember that, guys. Okay? Where was the where was this person at when you were in this hopeless energy? They were nowhere to be found. Tell me more. So this person wants to try to come back here with these secrets, being a mystery, trying to conceal you from the truth. And something about this person trying to conceal the truth at period because there's something about this person freaking out that you're going to expose them for who they are. Tell me more. So this person's trying to figure out how to put you in a fantasy. This is somebody that would tell you that when you would tell them about your goals and your dreams, they would tell you that you were just imagining. You can't make that happen. Your imagination's running again. You're, too, you're daydreaming too much. This person wanted to take that from you because they don't know how to do it for themselves. Now they're shocked by what you're doing. They look at you as unrecognizable right now. They, they view you as unstoppable. And they are shocked at all this trouble and this turmoil that they tried to put in your life that you overcame it. Boy, you, you got this person like shaking in their boots, man. They ain't going to tell you, but they are. So this is about you knowing the truth, seeing through this person's intentions, gaining the clarity what you need about this person already, guys. This person showed you who they are. And there's something about this person freaking out about the truth being exposed. I keep getting that. So this person's trying to figure out where you're spending your time. Who are you attracted to? What are you passionate about? It's because they're trying to get back into your life again. So this person wants to like get in the way of anything that you have a spark for. And this is a very shallow person that's hollow and empty on the inside. They're bored with their life and they want to try to come in here and cause friction with yours. So we've got a masculine energy here. Okay, You could be the masculine energy. You've got a masculine trying to come towards you here. And then some of you guys have new masculines trying to come back. Or new masculines coming in general, I mean. Um, this person's trying to, to return. Trying to get another opportunity with you. But you are now aware of what this person does. Okay? You know your value. You, you know the importance that you have. Okay? You know what you bring to the table. So this person is definitely trying to dive deep and try to get you in your feelings and trying to tug on that empathy again of yours. Don't let them do that. I'm telling you, there's something here about this person really freaking out. Like they are so scared of being exposed for the dark person that they are. Like your light scares this person. Let me get one for Libra. Find ways to fill your cup. 
be selfful, follow your heart and always trust your intuition. Go deep within, find your triggers and address them one by one. Self-healing is the best healing. Only then can you offer the best version of yourself. Absolutely. Never allow yourself to be taken for granted. It is better to remove yourself from the situation than to be treated less than you deserve. You are precious. You are worthy. Absolutely. So that's why you're not going to fall for this person's illusions anymore. But I'm telling you, your, your gifts scare this person. And they are so worried about being exposed. So, you know, some of them, that could be the karma that they are going to have to receive is by you exposing their darkness for who they are. Somebody's got to do it, right? So... All right, beautiful Libra, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again, guys. Appreciate you guys so much. Light and love to you guys. See you guys later.